Hey guys, Lil Bess here, just bringing you guys a gold guide. So this is for preparation for 6.2, and this is going to be focusing on the Tanand jungle zone, and I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and also some kind of a bit of a gold guide. So this is coming from the public test realm, and they just released, some, Blizzard just released some new details about something. <laughs> and when I saw it, I was like, finally, finally, they finally did it. Um, and so what they have finally, I hope, fixed is gathering professions. Alrighty, so Blizzard announced a new crafting material. It's called Fell Blood. So it's really similar to Savage Blood, um, where you're able to use this. This reagent is going to be used to upgrade your crafted Warlord's gear. And um, so how this is going to work is with 6.2, the crafted gear they're going to be two different two new rankings. So right now you can get it up to say stage 4, but you're going to be able to get it up to stage 5 and stage 6. So stage 5 um, they're using the term it's going to be called might, mighty and that's going to be item level 700 and then for stage 6 it's going to be called savage is the name for that one and that's going to be item level 715. So anyways, these felt bloods, you know, they're going to be really valuable because that's amazing <laughs> item level for crafted gear. So anyway, so Blizzard, initially they were planning on releasing this where you would get these from the barn, just kind of like Savage Blood. But recently they just came out and they've changed it. And this is where it gets interesting. All right, so first off, they decided to change the name from Fell Blood for this crafting material to fell blight and I'm gonna put the picture up right here I'm, I apologize it's a little blurry I'm getting in Sony Vegas and so I'm gonna be able to incorporate these pictures in my videos very very soon but for now you have to bear, bear with me so this is a picture of it so as you can see the tooltip here it uh, says obtained from mining herb gathering skinning or fishing in Tanan jungle can be bought and sold on the auction house. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, guys, this is gonna open up so much stuff. So, you know, back in other expansions, I loved uh, the, the gathering professions. I loved mining in particular, and that's what I was before I did tailoring as I was a miner. And I loved the ability to just go and farm these and it was worthwhile, you know, you made a lot of gold. And I really hope and I really think that this is gonna just just bring back the gathering profession. So what's awesome with this is you're going to be able to get these from mining, herb gathering, skinning, fishing. Um, and so this, but you can only do this in Tanan jungle. You can find these fell blights. And the biggest thing that's cool is you're going to be able to sell these. So you're going to be able to sell these on the auction house or trade them with other players. Alrighty guys, let's go into this with a little more depth. So for herbalism first, there's gonna be a new herb called Withered Herbs, and these have a chance of rewarding any of the normal herbs, the Drenic Herbs, and they also have a chance of getting the Fell Blight. Um, for mining, they you just have a chance, there's gonna be mining nodes and in Tanan Jungle, and you have a chance of getting the Fell Blight as well. And then skinning, anything you skin, and Tanan Jungle is going to have a chance of getting the Fell Blight. And then fishing, they're going to be having a new fish. Uh, it's called the Fell Mouth Frenzy. And um, they're going to have schools of these. And um, you can also, once you have a level 3 fishing sh shack, you can um, also have a chance of catching the Fell Mouth uh, Frenzy Lurker or Lunkards. Lunkers. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, so I guess with the fishing one, I'm assuming that you'll probably have a higher chance if you find a school of fish, but it sounds like you'll still be able to, to get these, uh, fell blights from just fishing in general. So, oh my gosh, the, this is just going to open up so much stuff. So again, I think a lot of the herbs and ore and stuff, we may, you know, the price probably will stay the same or maybe even drop, you know, as more people are trying to farm these, but at the same time, the, the, the cost of the fell blight is going to be worth it and it's going to I really think it's going to be worth uh, 
holding on to your gathering professions. So if you already have, if you still have your gathering professions and have been waiting, just continue to be patient. <laughs> you know, hopefully 6.2 within the next couple of months will will be released and go live. Um, for me, I actually had mining. I replaced it with tailoring. And so I'm kind of debating, you know, we'll kind of see how profitable these are, but I really think they will be. And also in the future, I think I'd, I'd like to release some guides of um, just some path guides of where you can, the best way of farming, you know, uh, the ore or uh, the herbs and also like packs of mobs for skinning. So anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think. I really think this is going to make a huge difference and I'm excited for this change because that's one, th that's one thing with farming gold that we've really lacked with this expansion or just in warlords in particular is we've had we've had to kind of rely a lot on a lot of the old content from gold making you know like the cataclysm raids and also just pandarian content and so this will i think this is going to add a new dimension to gold making anyways guys yeah please uh share this if you find it useful and uh, we'll keep an eye on the public test realm and hopefully they they hold up to this and yeah we'll see you guys next time